All right, you guys, Simon and I are out on a bit of a test flight today. Uh, we've just headed up to the Stave Strip right now, and um, we're testing a camera mount system for the Cabri. Um, this is something, just so that uh, all of you guys know, uh, this is something that I've discussed with Transport Canada. Um, Transport Canada has given me the, the AOK -OK on this. What we're essentially doing um, is we're taking a, a, a hook system, we're attaching a camera onto it, and we're putting it onto the cargo hook. So it's uh, essentially turning into a slung load. And so the only danger that could happen, which we're 120% sure this isn't going to be the case, um, is that if, that if we needed to release that load, um, that it could hit the tail rotor. So what we're doing today is uh, some testing at different speeds, starting really slow and, and working our way up to make sure that that absolutely could never happen. And so that's what we're going to go and do right now. And looks like we have some okay weather for it. Uh, just a little bit of light rain, but uh, this is good. So really important to know, um, this, is, uh, this is a disclaimer here. I'm not saying that anybody else can do this. I've personally asked permission for this. Um, so please don't go do this on your own without uh, checking with your local authorities first. And um, uh, we have to obviously respect all the, the normal regulations that you have for a slung load. And so we're not going to be able to do this over a built up area or anything like that. This is only going to be used out in remote locations where we don't have to fly over roads, people, uh, animals, anything like that. Um, so this is the official test. Okay, so we just uh, tested the hard cargo hook now. We tested the um, electric release, the manual release. So Simon's just heading out now. We're going to do test one at 40 knots. All right, this pass is at 60 knots now. Alright you guys, this test is going to be done at 90 knots. This cargo hook is actually rated to be able to uh, have a sling load at 90 knots. This is going to be the fastest we're going to do it. The next one after that we're going to do a slight flare at 80 knots again. We're not going to do it at 90 knots, uh, just a lot of g-force at 90. So um, a little bit of flare at 80 knots one more time to make sure that it's safe. Okay you guys, so this one is going to be done at 80 knots with a slight flare. All right, you guys, that turned out amazing. 
Um, I hope you guys liked the slow-mo shots. I hope you were able to track the object as it was dropping there. Um, none of them, not even up to 90 knots or 80 knots with a flare, none of them got anywhere near the tail rotor. So just uh, as planned, obviously. So um, I hope you guys are looking forward to some outside shots uh, from around the area here. Been really excited about this. Um, it's actually Simon's idea to figure out uh, to do it this way. And so I'm really excited to be showing you guys some footage uh, from outside the helicopter for a change. Hope you guys like this video. Talk to you guys later.